How's it going, YouTube crew? Uh, I got what I need. <laughs> Let me put this over here so that got some coffee. Why not? And then uh, I'm gonna be painting a a uh, seascape with a shoreline, and this is, I mean, some of my favorite uh, subjects, seascapes. You'll see, you'll be seeing different versions of those. And let's get to it. I'm gonna be painting oil on canvas. Of course, that's what I do on a on an eight by ten inches canvas board. If you are new to painting, or you're starting out, or it's, it's kind of like, you're telling yourself, that's going to be my jam now, um, make sure you get plenty of this one. You can buy them just about anywhere, you know, uh, any art store, or, or your local art store, or um, online. Uh, make sure you get plenty of those. The reason why is because uh, if you're going to be putting in your hours, which I suggest, uh, unless you're, you know, you're just kind of doing it to, 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 uh, for whatever reason, not to, to rest the mind. I, I mean, painting is, is uh, tremendous, a tremendous uh, healing, you know, or uh, I want to say healing, but, but uh, it, it's, it's, it helps the soul. Uh, I'll leave it at that. It helps the soul. It's very, it's very good for the soul. Um, then, of course, you know, you don't want to buy a lot of this. You just kind of, you know, you want to buy some for paint over the weekend. But if you are like me, if you are a mad artist, then you need to get yourself a lot of canvases. And one great way of doing it, if you're going to be, you know, practicing and learning and owning your craft, is... Uh, you know, get as much as you can of that. And that's how that's how I do it. You know, get a lot of the small ones and and go bananas. Paint, 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 paint. And when you feel like you know, paint some more. <laughs> when you feel like you got it, paint even more. Okay. And when you're tired, rest and then go paint again. That's my philosophy on I'm getting good at this. <laughs> it's just like anything else. All right. And what I mean good, I mean, I, I don't mean like, oh, good as me. No, 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 no. I'm talking about good, whatever good is for you. You might not like this type of painting. You know, you might, you might uh, enjoy seeing me paint or, or seeing others paint, but you're like, no, I, I, I paint abstract, more abstract, or I paint more, more uh, uh, realism, way more, you know, I, I, you know, very academic style or, you know, uh, and, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever your cup of tea is, doesn't matter. Whatever your thing is, do it. And also another thing, um, those of you who are who are new also to painting, and you're kind of starting out, uh, I'm going to give you a little, just a little word of advice. Uh, one, don't take it too serious, and I don't mean serious. I mean serious mentally. Don't 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 beat yourself so much if you're not getting it or whatever. Uh, take it serious with your hands. Practice a lot. Make this part the serious part. Just don't make your hands the serious part. When you make the, your, your mind the serious part, you suffer. Suffer a lot. Um, and also, another thing, <laughs> it's like, dude, I'm here to see you pain, not give me life advice. <laughs> but uh, it might help you. I don't know. Sure, help me. Uh, stay away from people. This includes family and friends who who are not uh, uh, supporters. You know, stay away. Uh, I mean, sometimes you can't stay that much away <laughs> for whatever reason. Uh, minimize the time. Do whatever you need to do uh, because only people who are doing it 
are going to understand you. And sometimes even people who are doing it may have be resolving some of their own mental trash. And you also may need to stay away from them too, uh, because it requires a high level of, I believe, a high level of um, faith to go into painting. And what I mean by that, I'm not talking about religious or spiritual faith. Or, I'm talking, well, maybe spiritual, I don't know. But I'm talking about uh, a trust. You know, you need to trust. And you don't need people behind you saying, oh, you didn't do that line right. You know, or her. Or, oh, uh, you know, your, your, your lines are off. You know, and people are like, well, I want feedback. You know, I want feedback. So, so yeah, but get it from someone who's positive. Don't get it from, you know, negative. If you're, if you're really looking for feedback, get it from someone who's positive and says, you know what, you're doing an excellent job. And then, and then you know, whatever, this might help. But don't, don't get it from someone who's, uh, uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about. You all know what I'm talking about. Those, those vampires that are like, I wouldn't do it like that. I would do it like this. Then, then you do it however you want. Let me do it how I'm doing it, you know. This is, this is my jam. Find yours. <laughs> So that's what I'm trying to say. Just stay away from, from negativity. No negativity allowed. No negativity. It's all positive. It's all, you know, if you're going to say, if you're going to come into my studio, you need to tell them that. You're going to say something, uh, make sure it's positive, or, or otherwise, keep it to yourself. I don't need negativity in my studio. The whole point of painting is, uh, is to create uh, a positive outcome. So I don't, I don't need you know, negativity. Something like that. Find your word. <laughs> I really like Bob Ross. There's no pain to, you know, happy little boat. <laughs> Let's paint. It. Oh, this one is, this one wants to, wants to get together with his buddy. He wants to he wants to be he wants to join the crew. <laughs> I used to love watching my brother. But uh not for painting. I I, I I didn't I enjoy watching him paint but not I didn't I didn't, I didn't want to paint like him. But uh but uh, <laughs> I love the commentary. I guess who did it, no? Happy little tree. I also like the uh, Russian style of impressionism. It's very, very chunky. Yeah, many, many artists very chunky, very uh, um, impasto like. I like that as well. So, if you're getting into painting and you're kind of digging what I do, that's, a, that's something to look into it, to look into. Find some uh, Russian impressionists or along the lines. Get inspired. You know, that's the whole thing, no? We all want to get inspired. We're all we're all looking for for that which is going to awaken what we uh, our vision, you know, what we're what we're trying to do. Sometimes you'll see me go faster. Uh, sometimes I won't. Whatever. Today I didn't go that fast. 
I didn't feel like I needed to. And there we go. Till next time, Facebook, I mean, <laughs> Facebook, YouTube crew.